few football games live up to the hype. But the clash between USC and Notre Dame on October 15th definitely surpassed it. This was already the Trojans' fourth game on the road, and historic Notre Dame Stadium was jam-packed with over 80,000 fans. You try not to get in the hype of rivalries. You know, you try to let that be a fan, uh, media kind of thing, but it, it's hard to, you know, especially with the tradition, and, and, and there's been so many great games in the past, and, um, you know, there's so much history in that stadium. You know, we were pulling up to the stadium in about at least Two or three thousand of their fans were out there. Everything just stopped. They all turned their focus to us and, and ran towards the bus and were making all types of chants um, at us. And they really fired us up. And I think it did give us a little extra motivation. Hey, Early in the game. A determined Reggie Bush added to his Heisman highlight. Hand off Bush up the middle, cuts out to the left side of the 30. And a 25, 20, 15, 10, 5. The Trojans have scored first. Reggie Bush. 37 yards at USC leading 6 to nothing. Yeah, he had some extraordinary plays in that game, and, and uh, it was, that was one of those games when you could just feel Reggie's will, and you, know, you could feel him, and, and uh, he was playing hard and fast and finishing and, and you know, surprising and shocking you like he does, and he had some great plays in that game. Playing purposely on tall grass and sending his players out in their so-called lucky green jerseys, it seemed like early in the game, Charlie Weiss had an edge. Snap back, Malone gives the kick away. Zipikowski catches at the 40, gets a block at the 50, he's at the Trojan 40, he's at the 30, Thomas Williams slows it down, Malone tried to slow him down, but he's going to go all the way, touchdown. No. Notre Dame led at halftime 21-14, the third time this season that the Trojans trailed going into the break. After the break, there was more from Mr. Bush. Five, the Irish 45, Bush, big hole left side 40, he's gone! Following a Notre Dame field goal early in the fourth quarter, it was Bush again who lifted the Trojans with little more than five minutes left in the game. Hand off to Bush, left side of the 10, outside at the 5, he's in the end zone! Touchdown, USC! The Trojans have reclaimed the lead with five minutes and nine seconds remaining in the fourth quarter. Then quarterback Brady Quinn marched the Irish down the field. Running around the right side, he is down in the end zone. Touchdown, Notre Dame. With 2.04 to go, the Irish have taken the lead, 30 to 28. The stage was set for Leonard Bush and company to make one of the most memorable touchdown drives in college football history. And the Trojans will take their final timeout with a minute 32 remaining in the game. One last play, one last gasp to see if they can get a first down to keep this thing going. It seems impossible. Need nine yards to keep that dream alive at least for another minute and a half. At fourth and nine, I want to say that we didn't have a doubt, but it's, it was really a tough situation. Jared to the left, Smith and McCoy to the right. Bush is the tailback, Ryan Khalil the center, waiting for the call from Matt Liner. Lines are set, Liner changes at the line, gets the snap, drops the pass, throws, looking for Jarrett, it's caught by Jarrett, the 40, 35, 30, 25, 20, tackled from behind at the 15, maybe the 13 yard line. You know, nobody thought about the score or the situation at that moment, it was just the next play. And uh, you know, everybody did a job and we executed. The Trojans have a first and ten at the 13. I don't believe it. Liner drops the pass, rolls left, has to get rid of it. He runs, he dives, he's in the end zone. No, he's not. He dropped the ball out of bounds at the one yard line. The clock is stopped with five seconds remaining in the game. The clock is continuing to run. I don't know why. The 
clock is continuing to run, but I don't know why. The Irish no, are celebrating, no, no. but Matt Liner was out of bounds. Game's not over. Matt Liner was out of bounds, and they're going to have to clear the field. The Trojans will have him play at the half-yard line. All right, seven seconds on the clock, and Liner will probably have to snap this thing and then down it right away with seven seconds to go. They're on the one-yard line. Liner could sneak it in for a score, but if he, tr if he tries to score and doesn't, the Trojans will lose the game. Liner will have to down this ball, to spike it, or sneak it in for a touchdown. Yeah, I say he spikes it that way, gives him another. We're at the one yard line. Chance to make the right call. Lines are set. Liner sneaks towards the goal line. He's in the end zone. Touchdown, USC! With three seconds to go, the Trojans have scored. With three seconds left, he did not spike it. He went into the end zone. Matt Liner has scored, and the Trojans will win the ball game. With their dramatic last-second victory over Notre Dame, the Trojans had taken a huge step toward making it to their third straight national title game. And Reggie Bush had established himself as odds-on favorite to win the Heisman Trophy. And I was, I was just emotionally drained out of that game. I've um, never put, had so much energy just mentally be out there on the field, left out on the field after a game. And uh, it was just, you know, you just wanted to cry and hug all your teammates and tell everybody how much you love them after a game like that. Man, I really, I wasn't quite thinking it just like this one. I don't want to be like this. because this was everybody battling their ass off. It was everybody fighting, obviously, until there was no time left on the clock. There ain't a favorite moment in my life that I can see. There's no time left, and we just win the game. <laughs> Austin, let's sing this song. Oh, 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 o